Jangsa sauce made easy just for you this is how i make my super delicious jangsa sauce every time trust me it's going to be your favorite keep watching thank you so much for tuning in it's your girl claudie and today i will be showing you how to make the best ever super delicious jansa sauce a cameroonian delicacy if you're new here please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and do not forget to hit the like button to start off with our ingredients in this plate i have some fresh tomatoes onion parsley hot peppers garlic and ginger so you're gonna slice those and we're gonna blend it for the next ingredients i have some jangsa this is already ground and pre-frozen salt black pepper white pepper and some seasoning powder so for our large whole onion we are not going to be blending one quarter of it one quarter will be left to saute before we make our sauce so I'm just going to save one quarter of that. Then I'm going to slice the rest to blend with the rest of the fresh ingredients. So to blend, I have some garlic, ginger, tomatoes, onions, and to make our jangsa to be uniform or smooth, I will just blend it with the fresh ingredients. And this is how it's looking for our chicken. It has already been cut into chunks and washed. Now bring in the blended mix inside, then go ahead and season with the rest of the ingredients so for the rest of the ingredients like i showed before i'll just add in my black pepper and white pepper the seasoning powder salt so guys for the african nutmeg which i will be adding now you can skip you can choose to skip it or you can use it as well i'm just using the african nutmeg for extra flavor go ahead and stir that until the chicken is well coated with the sauce cooking with Claudy, cooking with Claudy, easy simple recipe in a hot pot go ahead and add in some cooking oil then you want to saute the chopped onion until it becomes translucent and fragrant now add in the chicken mix and you will add in a little bit of oil so your chicken is gonna cook but remember your chicken is gonna emit a lot of water so you want to make sure that your water is added in bits and please keep checking your pot from time to time to make sure it doesn't burn and to add water if needed for how you want your sauce you can add or reduce water it's just based on preference now adding some whole peppers and i will simmer with some um parsley so guys for my peppers as no ground because i'm just trying to control the spiciness spiciness my kids do not eat spicy food that's why i put the whole peppers so that it's just gonna soften a little bit with the remaining heat okay now go ahead and serve that with whatever side i'm serving this with some white yams you can serve this with rice potatoes whatever you choose even pasta it is so good with it plantains as well so guys if you get to try this recipe let me know how it turned out and please do not forget to check the description box and it's going to take you where to find this recipe trust me it is so so easy to make as you can see a simple one 
Pod Mail. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the love, the support, the likes, the comments. In fact, you guys are amazing. And to meet again, bye for now. I love you all. Please take care.